get ready for another incredible lifestyle, your VIP journey into the lives and loves of today's winners who really know how to enjoy the great things of war. What are we even doing here? Well, we're enjoying the opulence and luxury of Camor's Ouro Portuguese, Portuguese gold sardines, skinless and boneless style. Yeah, we're finally here. This is sort of the apex of our fantastic world of the Portuguese sardine series that we've been doing. Yeah, and um, what's special about these? I don't know, except for they were $44. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> to charge you $44, they've kind of, you know, they've made the tin look like a gold bar. And uh, that's kind of neat, right? You know, they've got like a little serial number here. Um, it says 1942, that's when Camor was like uh, started, right? And this, it's got, this is all like debossed into the bottom of the can, which is something that I've never seen before. And you know what? I wanted to do this. I thought this would be fun, right? We can do a little like secret message thing. Kids, you can do this with a lot of stuff. This is so much fun. Yeah, great activity for parents and children on a rainy day. You can kind of do this, make little impressions. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, um, enough bullshit. Uh, how do we get to $44? Well, my theory is that this is an expensive can to manufacture and I think these sardines are pretty high quality and I bet the problem is that you arrive with like a high like bill of materials price like their cost is kind of high for a skinless and boneless can of sardines right so what do they do they're like well are we going to charge $17 to like make as much as we want to make or whatever no well, nobody's going to buy a uh, a $17 can of skinless and boneless sardines. Let's double that and then some, and then we'll be out of the reach of reasonable sardine shoppers and into the reach of idiots, you know? Hey, by the way, it's got edible gold flakes, uh, which by the way, I have no idea anything about edible gold flakes. I don't know if they have a taste. I've encountered them before in food, but I don't know, I just don't think about them. I think it's, is it stupid? I don't think they're that expensive either to like put a few in here either. Yeah, nothing interesting here. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, these are just lovely, right? Yeah, look how, like these are from kind of smallish ones. I'm gonna try to be very careful. They're really sort of stuck together. We already broke this piece, so let's take it out. Hmm? You see them? Well, I've got news for y'all. They are just like any other skinless and boneless sardine. Um, just a little bit dry. Um, I just don't, I just don't get it with skinless and boneless. I just don't get it. Uh, boneless, I kind of get. And uh, Kamur takes the bones out of at least some of their sardines. Um, and I think that really works for a lot of people. I think the bones, as much as like we kind of play with them and joke about them here on Fish Files, I don't think everybody love, love, loves them. And I can see if sardines just magically did not come with bones, the appeal might be broader, you know? Uh, but the skin, I think, just provides so much flavor and fat and protection to the meat underneath and keeps everything so supple. And as good looking as these are, they really, whatever you had going on with a sardine, this taking off the skin just brings them back down to this level again. I don't know, I see the little gold foil. It's not even worth talking about. 
Um, these being kind of smaller pilchards, God, I think they're even drier than a lot of the ones that I had on my um, skinless and boneless roundup from a couple years ago. Yeah. Look, everybody's done such a good job. This looks great. This looks beautiful. I don't know. It's just, they don't, they don't move. Uh, they're kind of stiff. I don't know. I don't know. Kamur sells another tin of skinless and boneless, and they're about 30 USD. I can't tell from their website what's different about those to these. $30, that's a very expensive can of sardines. So like, what did you do? Hey guys, if you've got some golden sardine money kicking around, then you can totally get one of these canned fish files t-shirts. They're the perfect way to keep the Dini vibes going wherever you wear them. The holidays are upon us. If you're watching this with a fishy freak you love, don't move. Just stare coolly at the screen for now. Don't look at them. Don't smile because you found the perfect holiday gift for your sardine loving friend. Just watch this video until the end and then later on when they're not around, hit the link in the description to buy them a t-shirt for the holiday of your choice. But remember, they take around 10 days to process and ship, so don't wait. Back to the show. Wow. Look, if you got these as a gift or something, or you bought them or whatever, don't open them. I don't know. I mean, if you have any, if there's any part of your uh, conservist collecting or enthusiasm where you're like, oh, I have a shelf of fun, fun looking tins or whatever, I would just keep these on that shelf because this is, as we say sometimes in the, in the TV business, there's no there there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.